Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have some project shares. Um, if you saw my previous video, Craftsmith sent me a few paper pads to try out and I um, made cards with each one that they sent me. So, and I also used the new dies that I got recently from Hobby Lobby. So I wanted to show you what I made and um, yeah, let's get started. So the first one I made is using this paper pad, which is my favorite it's called silent night and uh yeah so i did a flip through already on my channel but i wanted to work with it right away i also use this new die set that i just got from hobby lobby i know a bunch of us have gotten this um this was 40% off last week, so it'll be 40% off most likely next week as well. So if you're looking for dies, I would definitely wait until they're on sale. So I couldn't wait to get started with this because I love gingerbread houses and cookie themed dies. So I did use this one. So let me show you the card that I made. And this is it. Didn't it come out so cute? Um, for the gingerbread house, I used some almond cream basil cardstock that I always use for my gingerbread cookies. And I inked the edges of it with um, Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. I used my favorite white glitter paper for the icing part. And this die worked really well, you guys. Even with the glitter paper, these pieces popped out really easily. And it was just a pleasure to piece together because even though there are some smaller pieces, there aren't that many. So it doesn't take you an hour to put this um, kind of gingerbread house together. So um, I also cut it out of this light pink shimmer paper and the darker pink shimmer paper as well, just to, you know, fill in the colors a little bit, kind of like how they did in the example, but I used pinks. Um, I used the Home for Christmas dies that it came with, and I cut it out twice, which I usually do. I cut it out of that darker pink uh, uh, shimmer paper and the white glitter paper as well, and just staggered them a little bit. And the paper that I used, I wanted to show you, it was uh, one of the larger pages, and it's actually the first one in the paper pad. So just to show you, you don't have to use papers like this for a giant layout page. This one has, as you can see, like snowflake ornaments hanging from white pine branches. So I just cut like, you know, um, a, a two size piece off of the center of this. And I did use some vintage photo to distress the outside a little bit. And then for the ornament part, I just used some diamond stickles and went ahead and just made, you know, like little dots on all of the crystal pieces just to make it shinier and dimensional. So I love how this came out. Love this paper. And like I said, you can, you know, use the paper in different ways. Don't be afraid to think outside the box and not use it for a full spread. So I think it looks really cute as a little card. This is four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half. I have not done anything to the inside, but I did use some pink card stock for the card base. So that's the first one with the new die and the new paper. I hope you like it. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one I used this paper pad, which is Safe Freeze. Uh, this was also in my previous flip through video. And I used another new die set from Hobby Lobby. I used this one, which is from Momenta. It's a shaker gingerbread. And this one was really cool. I didn't realize it when I hauled it, but it, it does include four sheets of acetate. So that's really nice. These are what they look like. And uh, so you can, you know, run it through your die cutting machine with the background die and it cuts out a gingerbread shaped acetate piece for you, which makes making your shaker a lot easier. And for this card I used for the Safe Freeze paper, let me just flip to where I took a piece from. Okay, it comes with two of each. So I used uh, the other page of this and what I did was I just cut this part out so I could, um, you know, just use a cut apart as a tag base. And I also use this paper too, which I just love this plaid that looks like it's on craft paper. So let me show you the card that I made. So this one is about, it's about five and a half by five and a half. And I use that plaid piece for the background. 
And then I also use the snowflake paper, which I didn't show you, but that's in that pad as well as a layering piece. And then this is that cut apart. And I added some diamond stickles again to the stocking and the mitten just to give it some um, sparkle. And for the cuffs of the mittens, I added some glossy accents and then added some sprinkles directly to that. For the cuff of the stocking, I just added, I think I just used some, uh, let's see, I used Nouveau Drops for that and then I added the sprinkles too. I don't know why I used Nouveau Drops and not uh, glossy accents, but anyway, that's what I did. And before I put this piece onto the layering piece, I did distress it again with some vintage photo, which I just love to use. And then I added some candy clay bits that I got from Etsy last Christmas, I believe. And I added some stickles to those. For the Merry Christmas, I used an older die set from Sizzix, which is called Season's Greetings. I don't remember where I got this. I think it was from Hobby Lobby once upon a time. But uh, it has all sorts of great Christmas sayings, so I use this all the time. It's a Tim Holtz set. So I use the Merry Christmas. This, this top paper is that snowflake paper as well. And I also cut it out of some pinky red glitter paper for the layering piece. And I did distress this a little bit too. I couldn't stop myself. So for the gingerbread, isn't it cute? I did make it a shaker. As you can see, I used my favorite white glitter paper for the icing. And um, for, for that die, the one with the icing, I also cut it out of three millimeter foam that I got that I get from Etsy. And at first, the first time I tried it, I tried to cut off the little foam pieces from the icing parts because I didn't think you needed those. And I wanted the shaker bits to flow throughout the legs and the arms, but it made the, the foam piece a little too unstable. So it was too difficult to glue together. So I cut it out again and I just left it in there and just, um, you know, hand put in little shaker bits in between those icing parts. So it was no big deal really. So um, just to give you uh, my experience so you don't have to do the same thing. But I used a lot of different kinds of like cookie shaker bits. I used little gingerbread clay bits. I used little Christmas sugar cookie ones. I don't know if you could see those. They have like little Christmas trees on them. Those I got from, I think Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio last year. And there are little peppermint candy bits, some white diamond dots, some red and white sprinkles, some gold and uh, gold green sequins, just regular metallic sequins. And uh, yeah, I think this came out so cute and festive and um, I just love it. And so, you know, you can use those card or use those cut aparts for card bases. I was thinking about making it into a tag, but I just kept going with the card theme. So that is my second project. I hope you like it. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, my final project is using Starry Night, which is a beautiful blue, white, and gold paper pad. Um, like I said before, this takes me out of my comfort zone, but I like the challenge of that. So I was excited to work with this paper pad. And I also use this new die set from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a Sizzix Thinlets, and this one is called Christmas Joy, and that's a number. I know a lot of us have been picking this up since it was on sale list, uh, last week, and um, I just love all the different holiday icons here. For this one, I used the penguin, I used the snowman, and I used snow and joy. So let me show you what I made with this paper pad. And this is my pretty little blue card. Isn't it fun? The paper that I used was also one of the um, like big layout pages. Let me just put this down a second. Okay, so you can see I cut it off. So I used the bottom part here and just cut it into um, a card size, A2 card size. And then I used... Um, for the snowman, I used some white glitter paper. That's not my favorite one. You can see there are different colors in that glitter, but I have to use my favorite one sparingly because I don't have much of it left. But I did use the um, Starry Night paper for the, um, the scarf and the band around the hat and the little penguin. Isn't he cute? 
I just used some black glossy paper from Tonic I have in my stash. Also that white glitter paper. I used some pale pink for the penguin's beak and the snowman nose. I used some gold foil paper for the word bubble and I backed it with some of that pink paper. Typically I would use silver with blue, but since this paper pad has gold accents, which I think is nice and different for blue and white, I decided to go with the gold theme. I also added stickles for the background. Um, I put them, you know, just on appropriate places I thought for each tree. And then I added some in the sky. This, I added them in the sky because I had a little smudge of ink there. So I wanted to cover it up a little bit. So I just added some um, stickles. Is that dry? Yeah. Okay. And then I edged the outside of it with some Distress Ink in Pumice Stone, just to give it a little bit of a shadowy look. So I think that came out really good. And it's like, I don't know, they're kind of just shouting these at each other or to whoever's reading the card. And I used a aqua paper for the card base. So those are my projects today. I just wanted to share them quickly with the new paper pads I got and with new dies from Hobby Lobby. These paper pads should be um, at Michael's. I know like some stores are a little slower in putting them out than others, but I'm sure they'll get there eventually. The dies all came from Hobby Lobby, which I assume they'll be on sale again next week. So I just wanted to show you some examples of cards that I've been making. I love to make Christmas cards. They're my favorite. And I love to try out new dies. So let me know which one's your favorite. And um, I hope to see what you guys are making with these paper pads too. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back soon with another crafty video. Take care. Bye.